According to the World Health Organization, the number of people living with dementia, currently estimated at 55 million, is expected to increase to 139 million by 2050. But there is some potential hope on the horizon. In a small sample study, neuroscientists uh, from Ben Gurion University in Israel say they've managed to cure mice of Alzheimer's disease. Our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report. In peer-reviewed published research, Israeli researchers say they developed an artificial molecule and gave it in drinking water to 30 mice with Alzheimer's. After five months, all of them made a full recovery, gaining back their cognitive abilities. A small number of mice were not given the molecule and their condition deteriorated. The team of neuroscientists believe that within one decade, their molecule could be developed into a medicine to treat Alzheimer's in people. I spoke with Professor Shira Knafo, one of the team's scientists from Ben Gurion University, to find out more. So these mice develop quite uh, fast uh, the all many characteristics of the disease, and one of them is the inability to uh, learn and uh, memorize a, a new experience, so they have impaired cognition. But if we treat these mice with a new drug, the Vibit-4, uh, they behave uh, like wild-type mice. It means that they behave like mice that don't have uh, these uh, mutations. So it means that we can actually fix the cognitive impairment uh, using this uh, drug. I asked how this research is different from other studies being done around the world. So in this case, we are targeting a protein called VDAC1. VDAC1 is a critical protein in the brain, in the brain of Alzheimer's uh, uh, patient. This VDAC is overexpressed. There is too much of the VDAC, kills the cells. Uh, and the idea of this drug is to inhibit VDAC, to prevent the cell death and to, to prevent the pathology of Alzheimer's disease. I also asked what's next in terms of researching this further. The main goal that you have is to pass it on and to do clinical uh, trials. But the way to the clinical trials is long. You have to do a lot of preclinical research, check the toxicity of the drug and the pharmacological properties of the drug before you even start the clinical trials. While the scientists are careful at this stage to stress that the study was done on a small sample of mice and that developing a molecule into a human drug would take time, if successful, this could mean a real breakthrough and a life changer for the millions of people around the world living with Alzheimer's disease and their families. This is Jodie Cohen for We On World Is One.